Uh, it's weird because it looks like when I push record, now I gotta zoom out a little bit. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay. It's recording? Yeah, so say your name. Hi, my name is Robert Donis. Okay, let me get my coffee. Here's the question, Rob. Do you, um, first of all, you have enough tape for like a couple hours worth of footage, right? Uh, it's memory. It's memory drive. Yeah, it's electronic. Okay, because if in the middle, if we have to dump it out and then clean it out, we'll have we to do, do that. that. Okay, although that might take time. So here's the question: um, What? How many times have been? Don't even name the times. Just name some of the times that we've been body painting. What projects that we work on together? Well, the very first time was at the Metropolitan Museum. Uh, we painted at Times Square. We painted at at the Highline Park on 23rd Street. We painted at a gallery in the in Soho, I think it was. Um, I don't know, many more. Uh, we painted uh, for that party, we went to the tavern party that it was going the dark. I don't know, like maybe eight times. We painted in Halloween. I, I bet you if we, we counted it all, it'd be closer to 15 than eight, I think. Oh, we painted for the, the, the Never Thousand Gowns. That's right. So yeah, we did a lot. And right. Um, so so why do you uh, why do you like getting painted? When I get painted, it kind of brings out my inner animal. I feel like a character. I feel free. It's just fun. It's a, a fun way to. It's like a like a costume. You feel you can express yourself in. Other ways you, can, you could not be regular clothes. It's like another outfit. It's uh. Look at me when you talk. Let me ask you this question. Um, what would you describe if you were to describe certain feelings, certain emotions uh, that you felt during any particular? Like imagine one particular body painting. Okay, which ones are you thinking of? The one we did in that party, the, the glow-in-the-dark party. Right, that was Kenny Sharp's party, right? Yeah. And uh, how did you feel there? I felt extra wild and extra sexy. <laughs> okay. And could you tell me one particular moment that you would say represented that feeling? Or it was there a particular moment that there was something that happened that made you feel that way, whether it was someone looking or someone talking or just some specific well, thing. Well, I, I get up on the stage and I start dancing like a go go boy. That says it all. I mean, I was like feeling super sexy. Yeah, cool. Um, and uh, how do you how do people respond to you? I mean, do you think that they're responding to the uh, the art at all or the nudity? Mm, everybody loves it. I mean, some people on Facebook are like, "Oh, that's offensive," and they they try to take it down. And usually, it doesn't work because Facebook now recognizes it as art. But most people love it. They say, "Oh, I want to do it." I have brought some friends with me to do over the years, and they've done it, and everybody loves it. I mean. It's kind of messy when you're done and you want to go home and you have to shower, but so far everybody loves it and I love it. I mean, I would do it over and over. I never get tired of it. All right, and uh, thank you. Uh, so, what what was your? Do um, you have one that was your favorite? Um, your favorite painting? Um, well, I looked at in Gay Pride also when I was yellow, and it was an amazing experience because we were the rainbow flag. And we end up on a float and everything. So I always wanted to be on a float on Gay Pride. And being painted by you that day made my dream come true. <laughs> yeah. How, um, how did the other people uh, feel about it? Did they, I don't know, how did the other people feel about it? I just, everybody feels joy. Everybody feels happy. Everybody feels special. And the, well, everybody's eyes are on you. Like everybody wants to take your picture. Everybody goes wild. I think it's a happy feeling. Yeah. And um, what about, um, let me think, uh, what about uh, with the thousand gowns? I remember that. Well, most experiences are good. That wasn't so good because it's like a blood tie affair. And they were like, oh no, you can't go in here because you're naked. 
blah 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 but over the years you've seen guys like celebrities show up like with almost no shirt and like with guys as props with no shirts and you're like hello that wasn't fair so I think they just felt like I wanted to steal the spotlight that they they feel threatened so the, in, when we did it Chelsea it was last year um, or last summer this past summer we did, we were in Chelsea right you were there yeah. and it was Ava was there and yeah. um, a, a nice group of us um, so that was full nude out outdoors yeah. so we did full nude indoors at the heroes shoot yeah um, and we did um, uh, and, and we did not full nude outdoors a few times, you know, in the parades and stuff like that. So how does it feel being full nude outside? Well, I didn't really want to do it at the beginning. I was resisting because I, I'm all for you over it like, I don't know, 10 times. And I always wanted to wear underwear or bathing suit. But this time I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a trooper. The first time you put me next to um, a man that had like a humongous thing and I look tiny next to him, so I feel uncomfortable. The second time that I was in the street naked, and because I was with a couple of friends like Richard and Eva, I felt comfortable. I felt a little unconscious, I mean, subconscious there first because we were next to a restaurant, and people were going through and they were staring at us, like our parts. So uh, after a while, once I was painted, I didn't care. I felt fun, I felt like fun. But at the beginning, before I get painted, I felt a little exposed and uncomfortable. I was trying to cover myself, but then I was once I was painted, I didn't care. Cool. All right, that's it. That's it. I gotta show my jacket. Nice. It's by Andy Gold. Are right, you wanna stop it? Yeah.